Here's your daily dose of history. These events happened on May 21st. In 1881, in Washington, D.C., humanitarians Clara Barton and Adolphus Solomons found the American Red Cross. The organization works with the International Red Cross to provide humanitarian aid to victims of wars and natural disasters. Clara Barton was no stranger to war and to the need for humanitarian aid. During the American Civil War 20 years earlier, she had worked tirelessly to provide nursing care and supplies for soldiers. In 1901, Connecticut becomes the first U.S. state to pass a law regulating motor vehicles, limiting their speed to 12 miles per hour in cities and 15 miles per hour on country roads. The law also requires drivers to slow down upon approaching or passing horse-drawn wagons or carriages to avoid scaring the animals. In 1924, in Chicago, Illinois, 14-year-old Bobby Franks is abducted from a street and killed by Nathan Leopold and Richard Loeb, wealthy and intelligent teenagers whose only motive is the desire to commit the perfect crime. Leopold and Loeb are convicted and sentenced to 99 years in one of the most unusual murder cases in American history. The case inspires a 1929 English play by Patrick Hamilton called Rope in the UK and Rope's End in the US. The play is adapted into the chilling 1957 Alfred Hitchcock film Rope. It is one of my favorite Hitchcock movies. What's your favorite Hitchcock film? Have you seen Rope? Let me know in the comments. In 1980, The Empire Strikes Back, the second film in the hugely successful Star Wars franchise, is released in theaters. Many critics consider it to be the best of the 11 films in the saga. I still feel like the original 1977 film Star Wars, often referred to today as A New Hope, is the best movie in the franchise. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. In 2023, visitors to Texas's San Antonio Museum of Art view the 2,000-year-old Roman bust of Nero Claudius Drusus Germanicus for the last time, before it is returned to Germany's Pompeianum Museum. It was taken from the German Museum in 1945, likely by an American World War II soldier, and purchased at a Texas Goodwill store for $35 in 2022. Don't forget to check out Today in History in my Teachers Pay Teacher store. There's a link in the description. Which of these events did you find most interesting? Let me know in the comments. Also, please be sure to like and subscribe. And you can find another great Mr. Lewis video here and another one right here. Thanks for watching.